I want to talk about this Project 2025 thing because last week when I first heard about it, liberals and leftists, I mean, a bunch of crybaby liberal lefties, you know, the, you know, the same, also the same type of liberal lefties that be wearing, you know, blue and purple here and all, all that kind of stuff. The same ones that like to talk about this preferred pronoun BS. They want, they're all of a sudden up. They were so up in arms about this whole Project 2025 thing. Oh, by the way, last week, last week on social media, namely Facebook, a lefty basically, you know, literally told me because I talk, I basically uh, shared a shared a post saying that uh, Project Twenty Twenty Five is basically Y Two K for the blue haired people. This this goofball lefty, which by the way he blocked me on, he blocked me on uh, Facebook. His loss, not mine. He basically said that I, as a black man, need to be alarmed. And it's basically Jim Crow 2.0. And I replied back to him saying, I wholeheartedly disagree. Yet, he replied back to me saying that I'm a quote-unquote Holocaust denier. What? Seriously? A Holocaust denier because I do feel that I shouldn't be alarmed. I mean, that I should be, that I shouldn't be alarmed over what Project 2025 is. But for real though, this whole Project 2025 thing When I first heard about it, I do feel that it is a great thing. I mean, because here's the thing. The working class, the working poor, myself, which includes myself, by the way, we've been busting our asses a lot. There are times when people like myself had to pay, had to be indebted to I mean, there are those out there who have to rack up credit card debt just to pay for the bare necessities, just to keep up. Because it's because here's the killer: inflation, for one thing, is kicking everybody, myself included, in the keister. We can barely afford things anymore. Thanks a lot, Joe Brandon. Thanks a lot, Democrats, and thanks a lot to to you rhinos who's been who's been sucking uh, the Democrats. You know what? But I digress. People like myself are having a hard time to try to to try to make it out there. Now, that's that's one thing about what project 2025 is why i think project 2025 is is a good thing and and that project 2025 agenda is supposed to take effect should and very and very likely will donald trump and and republicans take back washington you know but here's the thing that's that's if and only if we go out and we conservatives out there go out and vote instead of like being cocky. You know, we need to learn our lessons from the 2020 presidential election and the 2022 um, midterms. But that's another story.
So these ignorant lefties out there who say that I should be alarmed of Project 2025, they're saying crap like um, they're going to take away Social Security, which that ain't going to happen. Remember, they tried to take away Social Security a long time ago, and it failed miserably. I mean, they tried take, taking away Social Security long before I was even born. And that field. Um, they they sit the. This is the lib. This is the libs talking this nonsense. They also said that they was going to. They was going to uh. Tax tax people up the keister, but here's the killer. Who's real? Who are who is really the ones that are taxing up the keister? I'll tell you. The Democrats. Yet. They don't want to go there. I live here in. I live here in Madison. And the cost of living is out. The cost of living is obviously outrageous. You know. Here's the thing. People are paying like. $3,000 a month. I mean $3,000 a month. If not a little bit higher. For rent. And yes, I will go on the record to say this. Madison, Wisconsin is a is obviously the most liberal leftist run city in all of Wisconsin. Maybe tw maybe agenda. I mean, Project 2025 is willing to help is going to be a big thing It's really going to help. Folks like myself, you know, folks like who are struggling day after day just to make ends meet. Only the left is crying over this nonsense because they love to have people abuse the system. Now, here's here's another thing. Yes, they, there, there do needs to be cuts. Uh, in my humble opinion, I mean, not like completely get rid of them, uh, as what the as what the Dems are fearing about. But I do feel that there needs to be less spending, you know, because if we have less spending on certain things then I mean and less spending on government services you know taxpayer funded services by the way I mean which is funded by taxpayers like you and I then people would thrive you know I don't know about you but people who go to work for go to work and pay bills and pay taxes for a living they want more money in their pockets yet the democrats obviously don't don't want you to have more money in your pockets they want you to live poor they want you to they want you to struggle they want you to be in despair and and this, and they also want you to be discouraged. I'll post a link in the description below about what project 2025 is now yes it is it, it has no ties to the <clears throat> the trump campaign or nothing like that it has no i don't think it has ties to the republican part i mean any any republican party candidates for whatever office they're running for i mean if anything it was it was run by it was 
implemented by the Heritage Foundation. Now, if you rely on things like Wikipedia, they'll tell you that the Heritage Foundation is a far-right group. And even if it is, so what? But I don't, but we do not know. But I digress. <sighs> maybe people, maybe people like, maybe individuals like me need to, need to prosper. But it's hard now because since January 20th of 2021, when China Biden took office, assumed the role of president, his presidency was literally catastrophic since day one. And it's only going to get worse. And here's the thing. This is for this is for all you lefties out there who are so who have major vitriol for Donald Trump and Republicans. Were you better off? I mean, how much you how much you were paying? How much you're paying for groceries now? How much you're paying to fill up gas in your car right now? And compare that to how much you were paying for for those goods and services when Donald Trump was president. You know, ask yourself how hard, you know, why is it hard for someone like myself who pay who pays who goes to work, pay taxes? And doing all they can to live the American dream. When you got you got those out there who never contributed to society and live off of live off the and people like myself who can who do contribute are paying the price. Ask yourself that. This is why I think. Per, this is why I think Project 2025 is a good is a good thing. I'm Chuck Johnson, aka Thunder. I am signing off.